the Amari series presents Session 6, The Life, Times, and Legacy of Dr. Francis Cress Wilson. Francis Cress Wilson is a doctor of psychiatry, an author, activist, and one of the world's leading experts on the subjects of race, genetics, and systems of power. In 1970, she published her work titled Crest Theory of Color Confrontation, White Supremacy, which brought her public recognition. Wilson was born in Chicago, Illinois to professional parents. She later studied liberal arts, then medicine at Howard University in Washington, D.C. This is where she would hone her theory and practice. While living and working in D.C., Wilson served and diagnosed more than 100 men, women, and children who were Black of African descent. A long-standing private practitioner and pioneer in the fields of child psychiatry and mental health, she spent time as a director and staff physician, where she charted policies and strategies to help emotionally disturbed children. Wilson's work led her into the field of race and cultural analysis. Her analysis of the impacts of white supremacy, racism, were considered to be and still stand to be hard hitting and consistent. In 1974, Francis Wilson debated Dr. William Shockley, a Stanford Nobel laureate who was a proponent of black intellectual inferiority on the Tony Brown Journal. This brought her and her work to national attention. While living and working in D.C., Wilson made acquaintances with Neely Fuller Jr. In that time, Fuller shared his analysis with Dr. Wilson. His analysis was that racism, white supremacy, stem from white fear of genetic annihilation in an overwhelmingly non-white world. Fuller and later Wilson contended that all modern global relations are affected by white supremacy ideology and symbology, which they say are socially engineered into people in nine areas of human activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. Dr. Wilson's work initiated two generations of public discourse in the black community across the U.S. and later around the world. Her first national publication, the ISIS Papers, Keys to the Covers, was a collection of essays she wrote over the past two decades. It became a bestseller nationally and eventually worldwide. Dr. Wilson encouraged Blacks all around the world to take themselves seriously enough to analyze the systems in which they live and the impacts that these systems have on their lives. She contended that it is an entire system, an entire global system, not just episodes, that mark the impact of racist white supremacist systems on non-white people. Because Dr. Francis Cress Wilson came of age in the eras of Jim Crow, civil rights, black power, and the post-civil rights ideological split, her insight has held the ability to reignite later generations in a search for identity. Francis Cress Wilson's life and work in many ways is a case study and reflection on the history of self and group identity amongst black people who are all of African descent around the world. Wilson often credited Dr. W. E. Du Bois for being her intellectual guide. This is neither ironic nor coincidental, considering Du Bois predicted that the color line would be the main problem of the 20th and now 21st century. Dr. Francis Cress Wilson Return to the Ancestral Plane, January 2nd, 2016. Her legacy lives on through the works of the many scholars who follow in her footsteps on the path towards freedom, justice, and quality.
All praise due to Nana Francis Crest Wilson and all the ancestors. Ashe. When Dr. Wilson was asked the question, what are the solutions to the problems facing the black community in the U.S. and around the world today? She simply responded by saying, we wonder why we're not making progress. Well, I can't call myself a bitch, a hoe, a gangster, and a thug every day and then get up and do something constructive. That's impossible. Time to recreate the narrative, y'all.